Eviolite, also known as the most broken item to ever exist, is legal in Little Cup and always has been. Eviolite gives a 1.5 times boost to both special and regular defense as long as the Pokemon using it isn't fully evolved. Honestly, this has to be like the best item actually ever, but why isn't it banned in Little Cup? The thing about Little Cup which makes people play it, other than the silly mons, is how fast paced it is. The reason why it's so fast paced is pretty long and complicated, but to sum it up, basically moves with high base power are intended to be used by Pokemon with high base stat totals. Little Cup mons obviously don't have these massive stats but they do have the massive attacks. This results in the attacks doing way more damage, basically killing stall. This, combined with another reason, being that attacks do more damage at lower levels due to the math behind the Pokemon games, it basically just creates a stallless, well, paradise. But yeah, as Frise puts it in this video, great minds think alike, I guess. As a very basic illustration, take a look at Pikachu using Thunderbolt versus Mew. With both Pokemon at level 100, that Thunderbolt does 24% of damage. With both Pokemon at level 5, that same Thunderbolt does 34% of damage. There is a noticeable damage change at level 5. Anyways, because of all this complex math stuff, which I barely understand myself, Little Cup games go by quick, with even the quote unquote defensive mons dishing out sizable damage to just about anything. If you've played ADV LC or Gen 3 LC, this is all too apparent. These games are absurd, and that's with an item that fully heals every single legal mod in the tier for free. But part of the reason why ADV LC is faster than modern day Little Cup is because it didn't have Eviolite. Eviolite does its best to counteract the damage rolls that make Little Cup so fast paced, and makes the game, well, not slow per se, it's still so fast, but a pace which isn't just a knockout every turn. By doing this, Little Cup also furthers itself from every other tier, as knockoff becomes, like, the single best move there is. Seriously, having knockoff is so valuable, and just about every mon that can run it, does. This makes Little Cup more unique, and although there isn't a way to quantify this, in my opinion, better. Having a tier be different makes playing it more unique and drives more people to play it. And please subscribe, goal is 5k by 2025. But this uniqueness and power comes at a cost. In Little Cup, Eviolite can be a large restriction on T-building due to its sheer power. There's no item clause, so you can just slap Eviolite on as many mons as you like. Defensive switching? Eviolite. Setup strategy? Eviolite. Balance mon? Well, you get the point. It can make it feel like any other strategy or mon is just a waste of time. But is this omnipresence a good thing, or should we give other items a chance? Well, to be frank, I think Little Cup needs to have Eviolite. Without it, you just build a team with mons as fast and as strong as possible, and you just try to one-hit KO your opponent every time before they do to you. So honestly, Eviolite will probably never be banned. But there's one large thing that I think almost everyone is overlooking about Little Cup, and that's when anything is overpowered in this meta, counterplay evolves. Tinkatink, for example, is quite the good mon solely because of its ability, which allows it to switch into a knockoff, lose its Eviolite, and steal the opponents. This has given a chance to an otherwise just okay mon. Thief, for example, a usually extremely niche at best option, has become a great one due to being able to steal your opponent's item. And the biggest and my personal favorite part of Eviolite being so good is that when one item has such high usage, seeing other items becomes way cooler. I just door playing against teams and using teams with awesome strategies, and in the Little Cup, it's awesome to see. Skyplate Daduo, Life Orb on some random mon, a random choice scarf out of the blue, when it's less common to see stuff like this, it becomes even cooler. So remember, subscribe, keep playing Little Cup, keep using these absurd strategies, and I'll see you next time.